everybody. You might have seen that I wrote a brand new composition for piano that was inspired by the eclipse that happened on Monday, and I thought it would be fun to go over some of the techniques that I used when writing the piece. So let's check it out. The first thing that popped into my mind as I was writing my eclipse song the other day was that there's already a legendary piano piece that references the moon, and that's Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. difference between my piece and Beethoven's is that Moonlight Sonata is in C-sharp minor and The Eclipse, by me, is in C-sharp major, which, as you probably know, is going to give it a completely different mood. Beethoven used this repeating broken chord pattern in the right hand, combined with low octaves in the left hand, establish the mood in his piece. Similar to Moonlight Sonata, my piece also uses a repeating pattern of broken chords, but it's different in that for the pattern it's got two notes happening at the same time as they're shifting. So the pattern is and that combines with some low octaves in the left hand, also like Moonlight Sonata. The next thing that I thought would be cool to incorporate is some kind of visual that's reminiscent of the eclipse. And that's when I've got my left hand passing over the right hand to go into the upper octaves of the piano for a melody that happens up there. So that happens like this. By using this crossover technique, I'm not only referencing Moonlight Sonata in the repeating broken chord pattern that's happening in the right hand, I'm also referencing the actual phases of the moon that are happening during an eclipse by my hand going over the other hand like this. So stuff's happening on multiple levels. <laughs> 